What's up guys welcome back to another 5 own development tutorial. In this video today we're going to be covering how to create your actual first resource. If you guys are interested in content like this make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for more development content coming your way. If you guys are interested in joining a 5M server to become anything you want join my 5M server Erupted RP. The discord link is in the description. If you are a 5M server owner and you're looking for an affordable VPS hosting option Check out Iceline Hosting. The link is in my description. Use code Twizzle for 50% off your first month. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing you're going to do is create your folder where the root of your resource will be. For me, I have this header. I have this like main folder called tutorials. I have it for like all of my personal resources. Qbox does it for all of theirs. It's just to keep things organized. And then you're going to create your folder here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're actually going to create your FX manifest folder. This folder or file this file is needed this is needed for any 5m resource this tells 5m itself the whole engine for 5m the api that hey this resource this folder everything inside here is a 5m resource so we need to load that into memory so we're going to do fx manifest dot lua and you just create it like that next thing we're going to do is i'm actually going to open this up and VS Code so we can get the entire thing open. So like I said, all this does is just tells the 5M API that, hey, this folder is a 5M resource. It needs to be loaded. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to do FX underscore version is Sherluian. I think that's how you say that. I'm going to actually copy that, copy that over so I know that's correct. Uh, this still works. It might be a, uh, a more advanced version, but this one version works for me. So next you need to obviously define the game, which is GTA five. This is only because it's, it wants to know, it needs to know what API to load from five M to, uh, uh, red dead. So next thing you do is description. Obviously you don't have to add this. So we're not going to add that right now. You can add a version too, if you want, but obviously you don't need to. Uh, that's kind of just there for ma making things organized. But if you're not going to release it, it doesn't really matter. Um, next is we're going to have share, shared underscore scripts. It's just going to be like this. So first thing I always do, I load here as oxlib. So you do ox underscore lib backslash I-N-I-T dot Lua. This is so you load all the functions that are related to oxlib, like your um your uh progress bar your notify your progress circle all the oxlib stuff this is how it loads the functions because this is telling at oxlib is just looking for this folder called oxlib so it and it's going to load this in it that lua so you can use all your functions next thing we do is config dot lua like that so another thing you could also do is we can create a folder here. We'll call this shared. So we're gonna actually, let's make it full fledged. So we'll do shared slash config dot Lua. And this is shared, usually called shared like that. So actually we'll probably just do con, we'll do config. We'll call the folder config. So that will load that config. So this is shared config. Next thing we wanna do here is we'll do client underscore scripts. So we will load, we need to, we'll create a folder here. We'll call this clients. And let's just, while we're here, we'll create a new one called server. Uh, I don't think, I think that was a file I created instead of a folder. Yep. Clients. So you can do clients dot or client. And then you can, you can technically do Astrid dot Lua to load everything in that folder. But if you want to be more more organized, you can do client dot Lua. You can load it like this. So it's more, more organized, more, you know, you know, actually what's being loaded. So if you had another one, probably like maybe like called like client two or something, you know, it's more, you know, you're loading it. Another thing you could do is actually call this main. If you wanted to call this one here, main and set a client, that's another one you could do. But I usually don't do it like that just because I do my videos as tutorials. So I want it to be pretty straightforward for what's what when they're like open up here. 
Next thing we want to do is server underscore scripts. And it's literally the same thing. You will just take this and instead of this, we'll do server like that instead. Um, yeah, just like that. Um, another thing you could do if you, so let's actually add that here. We'll do server dot Lua. So with our configs, so we're going to have our main config here. So we'll do shared dot Lua. And then we can also do new full file. We can do server dot Lua. And then we could do client dot Lua. So you can actually have three different configs here. Uh, the main reason you would want to do this, actually, let's load these two. So let's load them before. So instead of this time, we're just going to take this. And instead of share, we'll do clients. And then we'll do the same thing here for server. Server. The reason you do this is because when people are cheating, they can dump your server, which means they'll pretty much just download your server. And they can't get... They can't get files that are on the server side. So for your, your config, if you're going to make like criminal locations and you're doing like an RP server, you're going to want to put your your hidden locations in the server.lua and a server.lua for a config rather than a shared or a client so that people can't just figure out where your locations are by cheating. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to load Lua 5.4 which it just makes it so there's more operators. So you could do plus equals, you could do minus equals. Um, it just brings more base programming operations into Lua that weren't in Lua before. And then another one is use underscore fxv2 dot oal. Um, I have no clue what this does. I just have it in all my FX manifests. So I just assume it's needed, I guess. So yeah, there's uh, there's that. So this is how you would load a resource. Next thing you want to do is you're going to copy the name here of your resource. You're going to go into your root, into your core, and then into your server CFG. So once you're into your server CFG, you just do ensure, and then you put the name of the resource. Or for example, how these are, you could just do, we can just ensure this, this holder folder. And this will ensure the every any scripts inside the folder when it starts. So let's add something into this into one of these client mains. Um, so we know. So another thing, well, how this could get confusing is if you're not paying close attention. We have this client dot Lua is our main code for our client, but then we also have our client dot Lua for the config. So you could get these mixed up pretty easy. So that's another reason why. Sometimes in client, you would want to do main and server, you want to do main. So you know that those are the main. So let's do command. We'll run a command real quick and we'll just do test. We'll just do first res and then we'll print the good old hello world. All right. So let's boot the server up and see if this works. All right. So now I'm in the server. We can press a fate and we can ensure first res. That's not right. First res. And you see, we actually started it. If we do that command first res where hello world so we can know it loaded correctly so that is how you load a resource or that is how you create your first 5m resource so use this use this tutorial here as a basis to expand and you know start creating things yourself if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button to come back for more content join my discord for all the alerts peace out have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world. Peace out.